The Michigan Republican presidential primary unfolded like a high-stakes drama, capturing the nation's attention. But what lies beneath the surface of these political clashes? What drives the relentless ambition of the candidates? And what does it mean for the future of America? Welcome to Discernitively. This episode delves into the heart of the battle between Donald Trump and Nikki Haley, offering a glimpse into the complexities of political rivalry, ambition, and the quest for power. The stage is set. As the clock struck 9 p.m., marking the closure of Michigan's polls, a significant victory was declared. Donald Trump, the former president, emerged victorious over Nikki Haley in the Michigan Republican presidential primary. With a commanding lead of 65% to Haley's 30.9%, Trump's triumph seemed to signal his firm grip on the Republican base. But was this victory as straightforward as it appeared? Did you know? Donald Trump has defeated Nikki Haley in all four early primary states where they've both appeared on the ballot. The South Carolina showdown. Donald Trump claimed victory over Nikki Haley in South Carolina as well. Trump's triumph was marked by a significant margin, securing 60% signaling immigration as the pivotal issue among voters, against Haley's 40% in a state where she once governed. Despite Trump's controversial stance on border defense, his campaign strategy seemed to resonate more compared to Haley's focus on her foreign policy credentials. Nikki Haley's campaign. Amid the echoes of celebration, Haley's campaign issued a challenging statement, pointing to Trump's 30-plus point win as a sign of weakness rather than strength. They argued that Trump's loss of approximately 35% of the vote was a flashing warning sign for the November elections. She took the opportunity to remind the public of Trump's past failures in Michigan, including the loss of the State House, Senate, and Governor's Mansion under his presidency. They warned that Trump's leadership would continue to lead the party to defeat against the socialist left. Did you know? Michigan is a key swing state that Trump won in 2016 but lost to Biden four years later. Haley criticized Trump for transforming the Republican National Committee, labeling it a playpen by promoting daughter-in-law Lara Trump and campaign advisor Chris Lacevita. While Michigan voted, Haley sought support in Colorado where independent voters could boost her delegate search. In Centennial, the crowd urged her on with chants of don't quit. Don't quit, don't quit, don't quit, don't quit, don't quit. The future in question. As the dust settled on the primary, questions remained about the future of the Republican Party and the upcoming presidential election. Trump's victory in Michigan, South Carolina, Iowa, New Hampshire, and Nevada highlighted the challenges he faces in uniting voters. Haley's persistence in the race, despite the odds, underscored the desire among some Republicans for a new direction. Trump's strategy took on a new intensity. His promise to win big in November, coupled with his victories in early primary states and the symbolic Nevada meetings, underscored his dominance in the Republican field. As Trump and Haley continue their battle for the heart of the Republican Party, the outcome of this struggle will have profound implications for the future of America. What do you think drove Donald Trump's victory in the Michigan Republican primary? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Discernitively, we'll be waiting for your feedback. Thanks for watching. Please support our channel by liking, subscribing, and reviewing our memberships. Thanks for your continued support. Watch our video about why truckers joined NYC boycott over the Trump verdict. Or the one below about Joe Biden's victory in 2020. Will he repeat this in 2024?